So I tried the famous knotless boss braid. We did jumbo boss braid on my natural 4C hair. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is simply Nonny here. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to join the amazing family and also like the video. The things we'll be needing for this knotless braid are our braiding hair. I've already stretched this one out. Our braiding hair, then our shine and jam. We'll be needing combs, picking comb and there for cutting the hair. We'll be needing mirrors, if possible, two mirrors. So start off on a freshly washed hair and I'll be sessioning the hair into smaller sessions so I can be able to cut the hair. So after that, you just apply your shine and jam gel to the root of the hair that you have already sessioned and comb through it so that the gel can enter inside. Then we'll start off by dividing the already sessioned hair into three equal parts. Then we'll bring out the extension we'll be using for one part depending on the size of hair you're going for i'm cutting this into three if you watch one some are bigger than the sum then we'll start by braiding our hair we'll go first set and the second set on the second one you use your index finger grab the smallest part of the uh, extension you shared and grab it with your index finger raise put one up and braid that or that one leg of it then on the second time again when the index finger is open again you grab the second attachment that you didn't grab on the first one you grab it and also braid it down and when the index finger is open again you grab another one and take one leg of it and leave one leg of it as i am doing and when it is open again, you grab the second leg, just like that. And if it's open again, you put another one. You start. Remember, you start from the smallest portion of the attachment to the biggest. You grab and the bridge like that. Then, and you grab the second leg. You grab. Make sure your your grip is very strong because. You know, it's a not less braid and uh, it's natural hair. You need to like hold it really tight so that the roots can be very neat. So you keep doing that until you get to the last one. You grab and uh, you grab the second leg when the index finger is open again. You grab the second leg. Then you continue braiding so when you braid when you get to the to when you are finished adding your attachment it will be adv i'm advising you comb the hair out if your hair is long like mine and apply a little bit of gel in your hands while you braid it down so that it will help to smoothen the attachment and the uh, blend in your hair really very well while you're braiding and when you braid to the down and you feel that one side of the, one leg of the attachment that you're using, you know it's three legs. You share you cut from the one that is still bigger, just as I am doing now, and then you add it to the smallest part and continue braiding. And when you get to the tips of the hair, and the, you just do a regular twist, you just twist the mouth so that the mouth will be smooth and it will not loosen up you just twist it down to as much as you can not really down down like down so this is our first one and i'm going to be showing you guys more on how to do it so this is the hair i'll be using for one part one boss braid now one that's one hair one i've shared it into four so if you notice the first one i did i didn't say uh, share the attachment equally but i noticed that the root was not as thick as the body so in this part of it i'm trying a new method this not less but actually have so many methods of making it so if you watch this one i braided my hair just once i didn't braid it twice before grabbing the attachment so when you braid you grab attachment one leg put the other leg out and on the second leg when you're 
index finger is open you bring down the other one and pick it with your index index finger and once your index finger is open again you put you fix another one and grab it with your index finger and remove one part of one leg of it and braid that one leg then when your index finger is open again you grab the remaining leg that you left aside just like that when your index finger is open you put one collect one leg and leave the other one on the second one you pick the second leg and the braid it down again and once it's open again you pick another leg out of the four that you've already shared and the braid one leg of it on the second open of the index finger you grab the second leg and also braid it down when it's open again you you grab so once uh, the amount of attachment you add will de depends on the length of hair you are going for if you want the hair to be really long you add more than four coaches but and another thing the the thickness of the hair will determine the the volume of attachment you'll be adding if your hair is really big 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 like mine my own is not as big when i started i started i started out on a very big side but i later decided to reduce the the size of the hair so if your hair is not as big as mine you don't really need much you so let's do this one more time on the front side i'm doing it on a different angle so that you will be able to get what i'm trying to say when you put the gel you try to comb out the roots because it's the gel that will smoothen out or stretch out the root of your hair and make the hair neat when you finish braiding so you just braid one and you braid the second time when the index finger is open you add the extension and uh, you braid one leg of the extension when it's open again you grab the second one and braid that one and add another one when it's open again i don't know if you guys are understanding what i'm saying but if you watch me you will understand what i am saying so you just need to keep adding extension once your index finger is open if you start out here make sure the extension you're bringing out is is not going to be bigger than the hair you cut like the the hair that you're making so it doesn't look too thin at the root so try to make sure your volume the volume of your extension will be matching with the volume of hair you cut that you want to braid if you use braid if the hair you're cutting is very big you need to add plenty extension and remember if your your length is going to be very long you have to keep adding extension like five to six coaches depending on the length you're going for and the thickness you're going for once you finish braiding the hair apply gel to your hands and uh, comb out the remaining part of the natural hair that you have not braided and uh, use the gel in your hand to smoothen the attachment as you braid along so it will blend really very well so this extension i used the i did cut in three in the extension i'm using and it is expression braiding hair i'm using it in the color too so you can use any color of extension of your choice and the uh, any length you want but i did cut in three and the hair was came out really really long so let's do this one more time on our other side of the hair in a different angle you can see the hair i will share the and make sure you cut out the extension before you start remember this takes a lot of practice it's not something you do once and get so even if you try it and you fail please keep trying until you succeed so we'll do our first braiding one and two so we'll be adding our extension let's take it from the back one and you take the other leg again and the braid when the index finger is open, you pick another hair and the braid one leg of it. And when it's open again, you pick the remaining leg. When your index finger is open, you add another one extension and keep one leg of it out and braid one leg. 
and when it is open again you grab the remaining leg of the extension and when it's open again you add another one braid one side and when your index finger is open again you add the remaining leg that you didn't braid the first time just like that and you keep braiding the hair down so once you finish you flip your finger be sure you're you're, you're holding as in your the grip your strongest grip should be your but <laughs> i don't know how to spell but make sure your grips are really strong you know what yeah natural hair you need to really hold it down for it to hold that especially if your hair is as thick as my my hair is really thick and full so if you don't hold it down very well it will just come up after a while so make sure you're gripping the hair very 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 well so you can see how the thing is turning out and i hope you're enjoying so this is the hair after i finished just go ahead and trim the hair and when you're trimming the hair please be careful don't rush rush because you <laughs> you can end up cutting the hair and cutting your hair as well so you have to trim it gently forget here i did a fast forward because if i was doing it the way slowly the way i was doing it this video would reach one hour so i took my time to trim the hair trim out the excesses that came out of there so the hair will look needs and after trimming the hair very well we'll go ahead and soak it in hot when i mean hot hot water like the water was really really hot i poured it in a bucket and i dipped the hair into the hot water and they trim out the mouth but you can see the mouth really came out really good just trim out the mouth then i'll press the hot water on the body of the hair to make it flatter and the uh, make the roots if the hair is strong like the, there is tension on my scalp it will help to relieve the tension and it will also help to flatten the hair the more because hot water helps to make a braiding hair feel flat then i'll be adding my styling mousse and uh, you can use any mousse of your choice and apply it to the hair so that it will be really 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 flat and give me that saloon effect so after applying the mousse if you want you can go ahead and oil your scalp if you want but my scalp is really oily and uh, this is what the hair look like just take a look at it it's very fine very long it's almost at my bum my bum bum like very long and the mouth came out really really nice so this is like after i finish the whole hair like the next two days because Nepal refused to give me light to finish this video, but well, we finished it and the thing really came out really nice, guys. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first time actually trying out this not less braid. I watched some video and I did my own trial, and it came out really, really, really nice, and it was really light. So keep practicing, keep practicing until you get it. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, anyone, and I'll see you later. Bye.